I did it again. How about some more books? Hope hubby don't look at all the packages. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Okay, you guys, but for real, uh, I have another book haul, of course. So if you saw the thumbnail, that's not even all the books. I got some more books off Thriftbook, and I got some more books, but from a thrift store that I went to the other day. So if you want to see what I got, then stick around. If you are new to my channel, hello, welcome. My name is Sarah and I'm a homeschooling mom to five kids. And on my channel, I love to share content on homeschool and motherhood and of course, hauls, lots of book hauls and curriculum hauls and flip throughs and stuff like that. So if you like content like that, then make sure to hit that little subscribe button and click the bell because when you click that little bell, it will notify you when I upload new videos. So before I jump into this video, I wanted to announce I am doing another giveaway and it is actually because, I'll tell you in a second, but I am giving away this book, Where the Sidewalk Ends, if, if you've never heard of this. It's a poem book, okay? It's amazing. Funny stuff in it. Um, it's by uh, Shel Silverstein. The reasoning behind this, and it is like not like the best condition, but I don't know what to do with it. So I thought I would just bless one of you with it because if you watch my last thrift book video, then you will know that they sent me the wrong dust cover. So I reached out to them and their customer service is pretty amazing. And they sent me another book, but I don't know if they understood what I was saying because they sent me the wrong book. So now I have two of these books. So I wanted to bless one of you guys with it because uh, what am I going to do with two of these? Nothing. They told me I didn't have to send it back. So I figured I would send it to one of you guys. So to enter this giveaway, you're going to have to stick around to the end to figure it out. Stick around till the end and you will find out how to enter the giveaway. Anyway, let's just jump right into the thrift haul video. And the first thing I'm going to start with is falling up. <laughs> so now I have his whole collection. Uh, just one is missing a dust cover and I'm kind of sad. The next book I got is this book. It is Big Science for Little People, 52 Activities to Help Your Child Discover the Wonders of Science. So this is in the curriculum that we are going to be using and it's just got, you know, little science experiments and I got it used because why not? I like to save money. The next book is this book number two from uh, the Tales from Maple Ridge. This one is called The Lucky Wheel. I shared in my last haul the first one and we started it. We're only on chapter two though and this is kind of how we're doing it. I am just reading it with my five-year-old. I just kind of wanted to pick a book that maybe he would like and because this boy is like the main character and he's on a farm or I don't know. I just thought because there was a little boy on the cover he might like it. So um, I just kind of want to introduce him into chapter books. And even though we were doing Little House on the Prairie, if you guys watched my homeschool update, then you will know that we kind of stopped doing that because it was just too much for my little kids to sit and listen to that whole chapter because the chapters in those books, although I love those books, are super long and too much for my little ones. And one time I was listening to Simply Charlotte Mason on YouTube and she was talking about how if you stop the lesson before your child starts dozing off, then eventually your child will be able to go longer periods of time of focusing. But if you just continue to read it, which I, I have done this many of times, I'm like, okay, we only got a little bit left. Let's just keep going, right? Because I'm like, I got to get this done, trying to check off all the boxes. She talked about how that will create a habit of not paying attention. So I'm trying to create a habit of my kids paying attention. And if you stop before they're disinterested, then you're going to create a good habit of paying attention and focusing. And when I heard this, this was just life changing. I was like, wow, this is amazing. Like stopping before they lose focus. What a great thing, because when they lose focus, if you keep going anyways, 
they're not even paying attention. So what are they learning? So what I am doing to help that is uh, I have been reading him the first book in this and when he tells me to stop, he's done, I stop. It's so cool. It is so cool. So he stops before, like he lets me know, which wait, I didn't even plan this. He just was like, okay, that's enough. The first day we read it, we went through a chapter and a half. So I was like impressed then. The next time we did it, he only wanted to finish that second chapter, which I was fine with. I'm like, that's fine. You know, I just want to introduce him to this. I really like these books because there's a picture on every page and they're just you know, bigger words. This would be great for like someone who's in beginning stages of early readers and stuff like that, or early chapter books who can read them their, themselves. This would be a great pick, I think. And get this, the other day I was looking through the Good and the Beautiful's book list as I was at the thrift store <laughs> and I saw this on there and I was like, yeah, because I didn't even realize it. I just looked at it and thought it looked cute, so I purchased it. But I'm glad this is on the book list because they got high standards and I'm all about like having my kids read good, good quality stuff. So there's that one long tangent. I'm sorry. Let's, let's get going here, Sarah. Come on now. I just thought I would share that with you guys though. Okay, the next thing I got was this, the one year Bible for children. I saw, is her name Angie from the Science Mama or Science Mom? Uh, I just found her channel not too long ago and I like her. So she said this was on the Sunlight Curriculum. Uh, and anyways, what I like about this is it's pretty much like almost a devotion, I guess, but you're reading through the Bible, I'm, I guess. Uh, and I don't know, it's just like a different type of children's Bible. So I like to collect children's Bibles. I kind of have a problem. <laughs> oh, I thought this was interesting and will be fun to go through. So the next book is this Dear, Dear book. I heard about this from Chantel. You guys, I don't know why I can't ever remember her name. But anyway, she is over at, she has two channels. I can never remember. An Intentional Life. An Intentional, Chantel at an Intentional Life. I don't know, but she has enough. But she has another one called Intentional Homeschooling. I first found her book channel first, and then I saw her other one, her homeschool channel. And she shared this one on her homeschool channel. And it's just a book about homophones. So it is pretty cool. Um, I feel like my children just learn so much better through picture books and yeah, that's how we learn in this house. This whole book just goes through homophones and tells them in a sentence. So for instance, it says, the moose loves moose and ate eight bowls. So you see, it's got moose and then moose and then eight and then eight. So it tells the difference, which I really like that. So it just does that through the whole book, which I just thought was pretty awesome. The next book I got is the boy's body book and my husband is going to do this with my son. I planned on doing it with him because I'm the one that's doing the, if you watch my update video, I was talking about some of the like sex ed books in there and one of them was, what is it? God's Design for Sex series and we are, we just started what's the big deal and we are in chapter two and I've got to say it's really good but chapter two I was like whoa there was like a sentence or two I kind of skipped because I was just like uh, I don't think you need to know that yet but it's been really good uh just the, the two chapters that we've read and yeah it's led great discussion and I'm very happy that I bought that book because I could you know what I'll just do a whole separate video on that but anyway um, so I got this and when me and my son were talking about it, he said he would rather have his dad read it to him. So I said, that's fine with me. The next book I got is, this book is called The Hidden Jewel. And this is, I guess about Amy Carmichael. Uh, I heard about this. I mentioned her in another video, but I couldn't remember her channel name or her name. And I'm drawing a blank. I feel like her name is Laura. I don't know. I feel terrible if that's not her name. I used to be so good at remembering names, you guys. And now I have five kids and I feel like I just don't remember anything. Any of you feel me with that? 
Like, why is it that you have a kid and then it's like, yo, I have no brain cells left. Like, I don't remember nothing. Anyway, so she was talking about how she was reading this book and it was really good. So we are going to be doing like an around the world theme next year. And I figured this would be a good one to go through when we do India. And yeah, she really highly recommended this. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it. And oh, her channel is Down Home with Lemon Pie, I think. And I feel like her name is Laura or something like that. So the next one that I got is Making Brothers and Sisters Best Friends. And this is How to Fight the Good Fight at Home. And it is actually written by siblings. I heard about this from Julie over at Mama to Five. And I don't know, she was saying this was a good one. So I got it and we started it and it is good. So my husband is reading it to us and it is good. The next book here is, should probably be no surprise you guys. It is this one and it is called Where Do Jet Planes Sleep at Night? If you've watched any of my book outlet hauls, you will know that I have both of these. I have Where Do Diggers Sleep at Night and Where Do Steam Trains Sleep at Night. We love both of these. So I was like, I'm just gonna add to the collection. They also have one on speedboats that I really want, but I haven't been able to find it in board book. And because my other two, and this one now are in board book. I want to get them all in board book. Um, but they do come in other forms, such as like hardcover, maybe soft. I'm not sure. But this looks really cute. My daughter's already excited. She saw it and she was like, I love that book, mommy. And she's two. So she was like super excited about this book. The next book I got was this the Bumblebee Queen and this book is just absolutely gorgeous. I got this for Faith because she's really into bugs and I think this will go really good with some of the stuff that we're going to be learning this year. So this is just so beautiful. The next thing I got is an elementary dictionary. So uh, yeah, it was really good condition. So and I think this is an X library copy, which you know what? I like X library stuff because most of the time they're in really good condition still. And they're usually like the library bound ones. So they're like really, they really hold up. Uh, but yeah, so this is just kind of the inside of it. I mean, we all know what dictionaries look like, right? But this is a elementary dictionary. The last few books from thrift book that I'm gonna show you are all body related, like human body related books. And this is because my five-year-old is really into the human body and doctors. And he told me he wants to be a doctor. So I just purchased like a ton of books on doctors and he has been devouring these two guys, like nonstop. He has like a whole, he took over my desk in my room and he made part of the desk his little spot to put all of his human body books and he took it over. And then he asked me if I had another computer that he could have and I'm like, uh, no, but I have another keyboard if you'd like that. And he just pretends like he's a doctor doing his work. He's so funny. And then I bought him a, like a human body, like skeleton guy that like comes apart and you can put his organs back together and all that. And he has been playing with that like crazy. I will share that in like another thing, but anyways, I got this, a tour of your digestive system. You guys, this book is so awesome. I got a couple more of these in this series. I think I got all of them, but one that I just haven't gotten them yet. This is just so cute. So it's about this, uh, it just goes through the human body digestive system and this little guy, Peter P, he's like, you know, a pea, like you eat the pea, like a vegetable pea. And he just kind of tells you what's going on in the human body digestive system. So I just think it's really cool. I like that it's kind of like comic booky, and this is really good and my son loved it. We already read it a bunch of times. The next thing I got is Inside Your Outside and we read this and he loves it too. This is like full of information and it's fun and rhymey because it's Dr. Seuss, but yeah, this is a good one. 
The next book I got is Inside Human Body, and this book is pretty cool. It's just another Inside the Human Body, and then it kind of has these holdouts in it. But yes, so here's another holdout, and I'm pretty sure it folds out on this side. Yeah, so it's just pretty cool. Okay, so this next book, I had checked this out from the library like a while ago when uh, we did like a two-day human body uh, unit study thing. It was like for some of our Abeka twos and threes program. And this is really where I found out that Isaac was really into the human body. And I had checked out this book from the library and he loved it so much. There's this little skeleton guy that you have to find on like every page. Like here he is. Um, here he is. And he loved this book so much. And I was just like, I have to get this. It just shows like all these little men inside, like inside the body. And then he just loved finding the skeleton. So I knew he loved this book so much and he looked at it so much that I was like, I'm just gonna own it. So I got it at Thrift Book. It is an ex library copy, but like I said, I'm okay with that because I feel like they're in good condition. And then the last book that I got is Explore the Human Body. I didn't realize that it was gonna be this 3D stuff in here. I thought it was like flat, no. It is so cool, you guys. So it has so much information. Hey, what's the matter? I know, they don't fit you. So it's got this 3D guy in it and it just pulls back the layers. So there's some bones and then here is the digestive. And then here is the digestive, digestion, digestive. And then here's the digestive system. Why can't I talk today? Excuse my daughter in the background. She's trying to wear my other daughter's tap shoes. Um, urinary uh, system, circulatory system. So it's just got all these little parts. I don't know if you can see, but like, look at that. Isn't that so cool? And they're like 3D, like little plastic pieces. And he loves this book. Loves it, loves it, loves it. Like. He knows what some of these are called already and everything. Like, I'm impressed about how much he knows. Um, but yeah, so this is such a cool book. And for getting it at Thrift Book, okay, so I've only ever had a couple things wrong with uh, stuff from Thrift Book. And their customer service is always amazing. And if, if it's really damaged, they'll send you another one. And if they don't have it in stock, they'll give you your money back and half the time. I, and I've never had, <laughs> careful, be careful. <laughs> I love her. Anyway, I've never had to send back a book. They tell you to donate it, throw it away, whatever. Um, but this is in such great condition, and normally this was $21.95, and I paid like $5 for this, I was pumped. And it is in excellent condition. Moving on to the thrift store finds. I'm gonna have to go back on Mondays because I found out that on Mondays, they do half off all their books, CDs, and DVDs. So I'm like, yeah. And already the children's books are 75 cents. So I paid 75 cents a piece for these books and I'm stoked. So the first one I got is The Littles Take a Trip. We have The Littles Christmas and we read it, uh, was it this Christmas or last Christmas? I can't remember, it might've been last Christmas. And we really liked it. So when I saw this, I was like, 75 cents, yes please. Next book I found was I Survived the Sinking of the Titanic. 1912 so i thought that would be good i've been hearing really good things about these i survive books i also got this i survive true stories nature attacks and this one is actually i think four in one yeah four books in one and it does shark attack i'm guessing fire i'm guessing a jellyfish attack and then uh, a volcano so that is pretty cool and then I found this 
the one year devotions for preschoolers. So you guys, I just realized just now that this is the same as this, but this is the preschool version. So I'm so excited. And I almost, like my son was like, you don't need any more devotions, put it back. I'm like, it's 75 cents. I'm getting it. Like, so once again, it's a little devotion. Uh, well, this one's a devotion and this one's Bible for children. So uh, this is a daily reading. Um, so this one's a little bit different. So I thought this would be good to do with my little, little ones, maybe at night or I don't know, in the morning, but they're just like, you know, you go by the day and then it has a little devotion and then it has my Bible verse and my prayer. So I just, I don't know, 75 cents, you can't beat it. The next few things I got were a couple of beginner reader books. So I got this, I can read Fancy Nancy. I got this Step Into Reading Ballerina Dreams from Orphan to Dancer. So I thought this would be really fun. Faith likes ballerinas. So I thought she would like this. Uh, and then this next one, I got this Step Into Reading Dolphins. And this just has, um, you know, the pictures are pretty and it has some facts in here about dolphins, different kinds of dolphins. So I just thought this looked cute. So this next book I got is this one called Because I Love You. I just read the back of it and I thought it sounded good. Um, so I got this. The next one I found was this Magic School Bus, Explore the Senses. So Isaac was, he confiscated this right away because he was like, this is mine. Anything to do with the human body is his now. So, um, you know, just Magic School Bus. It's always filled with fun stuff and full of facts and information. This one that I'm about to share with you, I was trying to find this on Book Outlet because I have heard so many people talk about this book. The first person I ever heard talk about this was Serena over at the Falco family, like, I don't know, two or three years ago. And then I have just heard so many things from other people ever since, but it is the one and only Ivan. And I cannot believe I only paid 75 cents for this. I was literally looking for this on Book Outlet. And I was like, I'll just wait till it comes on Book Outlet. I was stoked when I found this for 75 cents. I know. How many times is Sarah going to say 75 cents in this video? I don't know. Probably a lot. 75 cents, 75 cents, 75 cents. Sorry, you guys are crazy. Okay, so this next one is called Summer of the Woods, The Virginia Mysteries, book one. Now, I've never heard of this book, but the back of it sounded really good when I read it. And it's pretty much just about these two boys who move to Virginia. And they, I think they find like a coin or something and they try to find treasure. And it's just like an adventure mystery story. So I thought this would be fun for my oldest, when I read the back, he said that it sounded good, so we'll read it together, just in case there's something in it I don't like, but then we can just discuss it, right? So books that I don't really know what they're about, I like to read to my kids because then we can just discuss it afterwards instead of like them reading something and then, you know, I'm not knowing what they're reading, I'm reading it with them. So anyway, the next one I found is the Chronicles of Narnia. I have never read any of these. I have heard so many good things about the Chronicles of Narnia. So I decided we're just gonna probably read it. And because I found it for 75 cents, we're gonna read it. Okay, you guys, the last things I'm gonna share with you, I cannot believe I found these. Oh my gosh, for 75 cents. For 75 cents each, so they had more. But I was like, yeah, let's just start with these. Okay, so it is the Hardy Boys series, you guys. I cannot believe it. So they had book one and I was so excited. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, cause every time I went there before I would see these and then I just didn't know. And I saw them on the Good and the Beautiful book list. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it this time. And then as we were browsing other books, they put all of these on the shelf. 
And they had more. They had more. The lady's like, do you guys, does your son like the Hardy Boys? Because we just got a whole collection in. It is missing books uh, two, three, and eight, but I went and read that you can read them out of order and it's fine. So I am so excited about this. So I got book one, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, and 11. I can't believe it. 75 cents, you guys, 75 cents. And that pretty much wraps up my thrift books and thrift store book haul. Okay, so now let's talk about the giveaway to enter the giveaway for this Where the Sidewalk Ends poem book. And you guys, like I said, it is used because I got it as an extra from thrift book. If you would like to have a chance to win this, then all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, like this video, and comment on one of your favorite things that I shared in this haul and let me know if you guys have thrift stores around you where you can get some killer deals for some books. Oh, what if I add this? You have to tell me how many times did I say 75 cents? Just kidding, you don't have to say that. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. I will run this giveaway for a whole week. So on May 22nd, I will announce the giveaway winner on the community tab. So make sure that you're subscribed and that you hit notifications so that um, I'm pretty sure that you'll get notified when I post that. All right, you guys, so I gotta go now because Bye. my kids are getting crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. You do? I love you. Look at her, she's already, she's already looking at this. Airplane book, you guys. She loves this. Yeah. Is that the baby airplane? All right, you guys. So thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you like this video, please be sure to give the thumbs up. I will link everything I can in the description box for you guys. And if you like content like this, be sure that you're subscribed and make sure to hit that bell button so that you're notified every single time a new video comes out. All right, guys, have a blessed day. Say bye. Bye.